Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here then hello my name is Kate. So today's video is really exciting because it's something a little bit different to my normal hauls. Everything on the rail behind me has been purchased from Depop who I'm working with on today's video. And as you guys know I'm a huge fan of the app, I've been using it for years and years and years to sell all of my pre-loved clothes on but I don't usually purchase from there. And it was actually a really fun experience like going through the app and trying to find like these little gems. It's obviously such a huge platform and there are so many sellers so it's quite overwhelming but I feel like once you find a good seller then you find another a good seller and it kind of just spirals so i haven't tried anything on yet i'm going to do that with you guys because i feel like that'd be quite fun but from what i can see i really love everything so far and they're all from brands i really love so i've got like some zara in there and there's also a couple of designer bits that i got for such a good price buying from depop is just that slightly more sustainable way to shop because most of the items on there are pre-loved and even if you're not a fan of buying vintage or secondhand items you can get a lot of brand new items in fact i think most of the items on here are brand new they've just come from people who didn't want them anymore so they were selling it on and the majority of the time you can buy these things for a lot cheaper than what they retail for i mean i know that with my depop sometimes i'll sell brand new things on there for half the price i paid for them but yeah i'll talk to you guys more about like my experience of each individual shop and each seller as we go through the rail behind me so the first item i picked up is this knit zara dress and this is from a seller called jade1233 and i paid 20 pounds for it and this isn't from like a big seller or anything she has around 500 followers but i found this because i knew i wanted like a long knit dress for summer so i just typed it in to the search function and just scrolled through all the dresses and there's a lot to choose from so then i thought i'd whittle it down a bit so i typed in zara as well and then this is what popped up which is exactly what i was looking for so this isn't brand new this has been worn quite a few times but she said it was in perfect condition and it literally is in perfect condition i think this is from quite a few collections ago just judging on the label it's quite an old zara label but yeah i'm going to try this on and show you guys how it looks on so i love the way this fits it's a really nice thick knit material so it's literally not at all see-through i've got black underwear on underneath this and you can't see it at all so i thought this would look really cute styled off in the spring and summer with like a big oversized blazer on the top some little trainers or some loafers a cute little bag and you can even belt it in like a brown belt so as you can see it kind of was belted in here i think that would look really cute um, but yeah, I love this so much. Also, in the slightly colder months, you could pop on like a black knit jumper over the top of this and have the bottom half of the dress as more like a skirt. But yeah, I can just think of so many ways to style this. And I'm definitely keeping this. I absolutely love it. So you'll definitely see this styled up on my Instagram soon. And then the next item I picked up is this vintage YSL shirt from Silk Store. I found them via the Depop Discovery page and they have some amazing pieces. Lots of vintage designer bits, some like reworked bits and just like a really good selection. And I just loved the way the page was set out. It's very clear, very aesthetic, and it just makes you want to buy the clothes. And yeah, I saw this shirt from YSL and I just loved it because it's so spring summer and it just looks so clean and crisp. And here's a bit of a better look. It's just got the little YSL blue logo here, which I think is a very small but nice detail to it. And I love the brand YSL, so I thought this was perfect. And I can see lots of different ways of styling this, so I'm gonna go try it on now. Okay, so I love the fit of this. It's nice and oversized without being absolutely huge on me and the material is quite nice and flowy it's not too stiff like a normal men's workwear shirt would be there's a nice good bit of flow to it very breathable very easy to move around in and yeah it actually feels very feminine and fresh even though like i said it is a man's shirt and i've just started this with a white pair of jeans and some trainers with shirts such is so great because you can wear them multiple ways you can obviously wear them kind of like tied in the middle like that with some shorts that would look so cute you can have them tucked in you can have them flowing out you can do like a half tuck in, a half tuck out. Okay, then I've just tucked in the collar and um, undone the buttons and put it on my shoulder and then kind of like ruched it in in the middle. And now it looks like a really cute like blouse. And then you can still see the little YSL logo on the side here. So I just think that looks really cool. And it's definitely something a bit different that you're not gonna see in any high street stores. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of ways you can style shirts like this. So if you want a bit more of a glam look, you can definitely style it like this, maybe add a belt and some heels. Um, but then for a more everyday look, just wear it as like a normal shirt with some trainers and that would look really nice. Okay, no, yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think it's so cool. And it's just not something I would normally think to buy. A brand new YSL shirt would cost around £450. I paid only £40 for this. The seller was doing like a spring sale. So yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to be keeping. I cannot wait to style it more. And the next thing I've got to show you is another item I purchased from the same store. So it's this really cool, big, boxy blazer. As you guys already know, I do love a big, boxy blazer, but 
This is definitely the largest one I've ever owned. This is a men's size large, so I am a bit worried that it's going to be absolutely humongous on me. But these but these really kind of oversized big shoulder blazers are something that is, is very on trend this spring summer. I'm seeing Hayley Bieber wearing a lot of them, and if Hayley Bieber wears it, then you know it's gonna be a huge trend. So I'm really hoping that I don't look ridiculous in this because I do love the fabric. It's like this kind of like gray oatmeal-y color, and it's got tiny little specks of blue. So this is actually a vintage Giorgio Armani, and I paid 70 pounds for this so it's a bit more expensive but again originally this would be probably around like 700 plus pounds from what i can see it's in great condition like absolutely perfect condition um it's got loads of pockets you've got pockets on the front you've got loads of pockets on the inside okay guys i actually can't cope with this one i look like frankenstein or like one of those blow up dolls in kanye west's um, music video i actually look ridiculous in this thing is i feel like if i was a super tall supermodel i could pull this off but i'm not i don't know maybe i'm just not used to it but honestly the shoulders are so wide okay i'm gonna put it on properly I don't know i just don't think i can pull this off i feel like i look so small and my head just looks like a pea <laughs> i'm really annoyed because i really wanted to like this but i don't know let me know what you guys think but I don't know, for me, I think it's a no. I also do think you have to be very cool to pull this off, and I just don't think I quite have that cool look like Hayley Bieber does. But if we ignore the humongous shoulders, I do think it is really nice. I obviously just should have got a smaller size. Obviously, when it is like vintage things, there isn't like a range of sizes. You have to kind of just get what you see. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just start with this with like a plain black outfit underneath because obviously I feel like this is quite a bit of a statement on its own. And I do think this would look really cool with just a really chic plain outfit, some strappy black heels, and it definitely has that very kind of high-end designer look. Um, but yeah, this isn't for me. The good thing about designer bits like this though is that you can just sell them on and you're not going to lose any money. I could definitely sell this for the same price I bought this for, especially with it being in such cool condition. I'll pop a picture up of what the model looks like because the model who was wearing this on the page actually did look really cool. So I think it just really depends on your build. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely a no from me. <laughs> the next item I picked up is this little knit from a brand called the Neptune Collective. And they're more of like a little small business boutique kind of vibe rather than like a pre-loved or vintage. And again, I found them via the Depop page in like the listed sellers and they looked really cool. I loved all of their items. Um, I purchased this for £22, I think it was reduced from £25 maybe, and it's just this little kind of like slit neck jumper and it just looked really really nice on, so I wanted to give it a go for myself. First impressions are that it's really really soft and nice material, like very good quality. I've been wanting that like slouchy neck style knit for a while and I haven't found anything that I've liked the quality of so far, but this seems great. Okay, so I actually love this, I think it's so cute, it's so so soft on the skin and yeah i just think the fit is really nice so you can kind of wear it lots of different ways but i've worn it just off one shoulder um but you can also kind of wear it just in the middle like that i love how like slouchy and cozy it looks of like the material and it just being quite like loose the sleeves are really nice and long as well which i always love and I'm just kind of like half tucked into my trousers to give it that more cropped look but you can also wear it long and it's so perfect for so many different occasions i'd wear this like lounge around the house with some joggers you could definitely wear this out like a bottomless brunch or something if you pair some cute shorts or some nice jeans and some little heels now we're literally a week away from opening up i've booked in some things with the girls and i definitely think this is going to be one of the tops i wear yeah i'm just so impressed with the quality on this if this was like 70 pounds or something i would not be surprised because it really feels like cashmere it's just a gorgeous material so i also purchased some shorts to go with this and I didn't want to wear black shorts because I didn't want it to be like too monochrome so I searched Depop for like some nice brown maybe like some canvas shorts or some leather shorts and I came across these amazing Zara ones I'm going to show you those now how nice are these I absolutely love them they're so perfect for summer they're like a faux leather paper bag style short and these are from Zara again it was quite easy to find these because I knew what I wanted I just typed in brown shorts into the search function and loads of these actually came up and the good thing as well is that if you click on an item that you like and then you scroll down down, it shows lots of similar items so you can have a look around and also you can find the exact same item on other people's pages and just work out which one's the cheapest or which one's the best size for you there were lots of these that were brand new but i went for the pre-loved ones as they were a bit cheaper 
I got these from a seller called Lex Robinson 92 and she was really lovely and these were only £15 and I just think that these will go so perfectly with this or even just like a nice white baggy tee and some trainers in the summer so I'm going to try this on now. The fit of these is super cute, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. They come up super high waisted, they really tie you in at the waist and they're nice and long as well so they're not like short shorts or anything. I feel like these are very Pinteresty shorts, I see these kind of things all over Pinterest and I've never owned ones like this. Um, I've obviously got quite a few pairs in black but never brown so I'm really happy with these, definitely going to be keeping them. So I picked these ones up in an extra small and like I said there are loads and loads of these on Depop so you can definitely get your hands on a pair of these as well if you just search like Zara brown leather shorts. And then I also picked up some denim shorts from Zara too, these ones were brand new. And yeah these are literally exactly what I've been looking for, they're so high waisted, again they are nice and long on the body so they're not going to be too short and you just have like a good amount of room around Around this area. I really love how they're slightly paper bag but still very neat with like the darts going up. You've got nice big pockets and then the back is also elasticated. They're going to fit super snug um, and they also have belt loops as well so you can always add a cute little belt. The seller was selling these because she bought them and they were too small for her. The seller was called Maria Maldonado um, and yeah again these are some shorts I see all over Pinterest and I've never been able to get my hands on them. Um, these are originally 19 99 she sold them to me for 18 so I only saved about a pound but the shipping was free. One thing I never really thought about using Depop for is finding pieces that I've seen online and have been sold out. Just yesterday I ordered this beautiful dress of Zara, it hasn't actually arrived yet but um, I wanted it for a Zara haul and it had been sold out for so long. I went on to Depop and there were literally so many of them. So yeah, it's definitely always worth checking Depop before buying anything off Zara because there's so much and you can either get it for like slightly cheaper or just get something that is really sought after. Okay, so I've just tried them on and I absolutely love the fit. They come up so high-waisted. They're really nice and long. They really cover your bum so you haven't got like anything hanging out and yeah I just think these are so cute so I'm really happy with this purchase I'm definitely going to be keeping these as well okay and then the next item is pretty similar to what I'm wearing now actually but I do just love like a nice white cozy knit so this is a really cute little cropped cardigan buttons going down and this little collar and this is from a store called Tannis Vintage Store which is one of the first ones I came across because it was on the Depop selling page and this girl has the coolest stuff oh my god she has loads of vintage bits that she's like reworked there's a beautiful Dior blazer that she redesigned into like a cropped blazer and skirt and she's just so talented there are literally so many gems on her page I've noticed they do go quite quickly though and although her page is a vintage page she also does have lots of brand new bits from, from like lots of high street stores so this is one of her new pieces Okay, so I think this is super cute. I love the fit. It's very well fitting, really kind of hugs you in on the sleeve. And I just think the neck area is really cute as well with the kind of open collar and the buttons going down. I really love the way this looks just with like the mum shorts, but I also think it's gonna look super cute with like some wide leg trousers or some mum jeans, just for like a casual look. And yeah, I think it's a cute basic as well. I always wear like these little kind of white tops just for everyday wear and it's lovely quality as well and I only paid £15 for this. I'm just looking at her page now, she's got so much stuff. She's got loads of like big logo, like vintage like Nike and Adidas style top. Lots of really cute sets and some bits. Um, so yeah, she's got a lot to choose from so I definitely recommend her as a seller. Okay, and then one of my favourite items in this haul is this leather jacket. I think this is so stunning. Um, this is another thing as well that I've been after for quite a long time now as I see it all over Pinterest. But Lorna Lux also styled one like this recently and I just think the shape is so unique and beautiful. So it's like this really oversized cropped leather cream jacket. And the detail I really love is the black hardware. I think that just makes it look really cool. You've got like this huge pocket on the front here, a really big oversized collar and the sleeves as well. I like this kind of boxy shape. So I haven't tried this on yet yeah, I've been saving it for you guys and I cannot wait. This is just so cool on oh, I love how boxy it is as you can see like there's a lot of fabric but the way it kind of just sits is really nice. I've just paired it with a really plain black outfit underneath because it obviously is a bit of a statement on its own and yeah it's just a really perfect jacket for spring summer as it is a nice light colour but will still keep you nice and warm. I think it also looks really cool with like the sleeves like ridged up like that. And yeah, I just think this is so gorgeous. I purchased this in a size medium and I paid £50 for it. The seller was super lovely. In fact, all of the sellers were really nice. They all had amazing communication. I just feel like this looks so expensive and it really will elevate any outfit 
that you wear it with so that was the last thing i got to show you guys i feel like this was such a successful haul the fact that i love everything so much apart from the blazer has really surprised me just because i feel like especially with like vintage things you don't always know what you're gonna get um so yeah i'm really pleased with everything and the whole experience buying from depop from start to finish was really good and filming this haul has definitely made me far far more open to buying from depop more often i just think it's so great how you can get these really unique individual pieces that are a bit more rare and are going to make your wardrobe that little bit more interesting and obviously it's kinder to the planet and kinder to your wallet as well i am currently eyeing up a lot of the burby trenches on depop there are so many and i look at them every day so let me know if you guys have ever bought anything off depop and what it is and if you like it i'd love to hear your experiences i'm going to wrap this video up here i will see you in my next video i hope you all have a lovely rest of the week i love you all so 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 much bye